And it's essentially what we, what we were talking about because this is that line that's coming through here. That band right there has a chance to produce tornadoes. We had a couple of warnings earlier in a similar band that was down in Fort Myers. That was earlier this afternoon, 1, 2 o'clock. But this is going to start to spread out a little bit and get closer to the coast over the next hour. Now, I don't think actually all of it gets on here, at least initially. But certainly down towards Sarasota County and Manatee County, this is going to push in. And I think some of it will get in here. But what happens is initially, it's at least kind of pushing out on the north end of this, right? But as this moves a little bit further to the north, that band's coming in. So this is two, three, four hours of this band right here trying to push through the air, probably closer to about two hours. All right, and that has the potential for some tornadoes. If it does spread out, and I think it will actually get to many inland locations, especially out towards Plant City, Lakeland area, of course that would cover all the Bay Area because it's gonna swing through the area, that would have the chance. Uh, thunderstorms in there, you can see that. That's the area, obviously, where we would look for it. But these are just like the first bands that we've seen. They swing through. You get really gusty winds with them. That's the band I was talking about that will push up those wind gusts that we've been seeing already, peak wind gusts. And then we'll get another one to form as well, and it'll do something very, very similar. Now, notice where the storm is now. It's going due to the north. Look how Pinellas County kind of sticks out a little bit, right? The storm, at the same time that it's going north, it's getting a little bit closer to us. At the same time, it's getting a little bit bigger and stronger. So we haven't seen a lot of wind at all, but that will, that will change. It, it will certainly start to get windy as we go through the overnight hours. And, and obviously, when these bands come through, that's when you're going to see those 40, 50, perhaps even 55 mile per hour gusts. Uh, I think it gets a little bit higher as we go into later tonight. We'll see some other bands coming through. So no tornado warning at this point, right? All a tornado watch means is that conditions are ripe for a tornado to form. If there's a tornado warning, of course, we'll come right in here and we'll track it for you. They usually don't last very long when you have tropical systems and they move quick, 40, 45, 55 miles per hour. Uh, so we will let you know if that does happen, guys. We'll get back to you. Of course.